Welcome to this tutorial on creating text in Photoshop. Today we're going to be making a little glass like uh, glass block text uh, kind of like you see right here. Um, it's very easy. You don't need any files. We're going to make it all from scratch. Okay, so here we go. Uh, start by doing uh, File New and create a brand new 800 by 400 uh, white canvas. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to maximize mine so you can see it. And the first thing we're going to do is make a background. Um, use your gradient tool. And we're going to choose from the uh, slider up at the top this sort of grayish blue pattern. Now you can just use two crayons if you like. Double click on these bottom crayons and uh, choose something sort of grayish blue. And what I've done here is my middle one is sort of a darker version of the same color. And then at the end, at the end, we've got something again a little bit different. So it sort of this runs this grayish blue gamut. We're going to do a linear gradient uh, and just start at one side and go to the other side. There we go. That's all we want. Something nice and soft. Um, next, we're going to make a, uh, a new layer on top of that. So go to File, New Layer, and fill it with white. Edit, Fill, White. Okay. Go to Filter, and we're going to add noise. Okay, and when you get up to this noise uh, dialog, uh, we don't want to have too much noise. I don't know, something like 175. There we go. Uh, Gaussian is good. Monochromatic is good. We don't want there to be colors in there. And okay. Now, um, filter again. Go to Brush Strokes, and we're going to do Sumi E. Okay. Now. What this is going to do is give us sort of this rain, sort of speckly, uh, streaky glass idea. There are other ways you could do this, um, but I kind of like this. Um, right now I've got my stroke width. Let's just see what I like here. That's not bad. Stroke width of 8, stroke pressure 3, contrast 22. Um, you know, you can, you can really do whatever you want. I might actually increase my contrast. There we go, 35. Looks good. Okay. What I'm doing here is I'm going to pull out some of these white specks from this background and use them as almost like a water drop that are little smudges. So go to Select and a Color Range. And I'm going to use my eyedropper and just grab a little section here that's about the whitest area. And um, I've got my fuzziness right now. Well, mine is at 62. And looking through this image, it's, it's pretty good. This is sort of the speckly... Uh, the white speckles that I want. So I'm going to click OK to that and just take a look to see what I have. Um, it's quite small, all these little these little uh, uh, marching ants, these little selections. So I'm going to modify that just a little bit. Go to Modify, Expand. And I'm just going to expand mine by one pixel. It's going to make it just a little bit bigger. Once you have that, Control c Control v so copy paste. And now we can actually get rid of layer 1. Okay, and what we have on layer 2 now uh, is this sort of white, speckly, uh, dusty, scratchy sort of things. Uh, with layer 2 selected, we're going to go to Filter and Artistic, and we're going to add plastic wrap to this. And it's kind of hard to see, um, but uh, I've got my highlight strength set quite high, okay, 16. Um, fair amount of detail, 12. Smoothness, 13. Click OK. And, and all that's going to do is it's just going to sort of add a little bit of highlight and, and variation to that, uh, to that background. Good. This is, uh, this is pretty much where we want to be at this point. Now to make the text. Um, go to your text tool, the T over on the left-hand bar. And I'm going to use some nice, thick, chunky text for this. In my case, I'm using Arial Black with a size of about 200. That should be good. Start over on the left-hand side. And I think what I'll do is I'll write glass. Nice. Okay, and my text is white, and I'm going to put that uh, right in the center. Okay, now, over on the right-hand side, you have your glass layer. Take the fill and drag it all the way down. We, we want it at zero, so we don't want to see it at all. Okay, now right-click on glass and go to blending options. This is... Um, where we can add a whole bunch of things like drop shadows and embosses and, and, uh, and bevels and things like that. And this is really going to give us the look. Uh, first thing is a drop shadow. So click on drop shadow and click on the word drop shadow in order to get a couple of uh, uh, different options. I'm going to 
increase my opacity a little bit, okay? And I'm also gonna increase my size just a little bit. So I'm gonna go up to about size 10, something like that. That looks good, okay? Next thing I want is an inner shadow and click on inner shadow. Uh, for inner shadow, I'm gonna change the blending mode to normal and choose white. Or I can actually choose uh, a little bit bluish would probably do me as well. That gives me a little bit of that background color in there. Okay. Um, my distance, I'm going to increase a little bit. And this is sort of, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to watch to see, based on the size and style of your text, the distance is really going to decide sort of how sort of chunky this glass is. Um, I'm going to bring mine up to about seven or eight there. Uh, and then the choke, just, you know, pay attention to what the choke does. The choke is going to expand on that a little bit as well. So it's going to make it sort of a strong, uh, harsh uh, light on the right-hand side, or sorry, on the left-hand side. Um, I'm going to bring mine up a little bit to about 13. And then my size, I'm going to bring that down just a little bit. Okay, about three makes it a little bit crisper. Okay. Uh, next thing I need is an inner glow. Okay, with my inner glow selected, I'm going to make it uh, again this pale blue. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see what else I want to do with this. I want to increase my size a little bit. Okay, that's a good about 20 or something like that. Turn on anti aliased. Okay, just going to make it a little bit finer. Bevel and emboss. Turn on bevel and boss. We're going to go for an inner bevel, uh, and you can keep everything up here 100% depth. What I want you to do is uh, leave the size at five, but increase your soften just a little bit. You can again see what it does. It makes it more bubble-like by increasing that. Uh, so we're just going to bring it up two or three would probably be pretty good. Now under the glass contour, turn on anti-alias, and we've got a few options, and, and you can pick which ones you like. Um, I kind of like three of them here. I like deep cove. I like rolling slope. Okay, and I also like, uh, what's this one called? Uh, it doesn't want to pop up for me. Well, this one over here. Um, actually, I think ring. Uh, I think ring is probably the one that gives me the nicest sort of glass edge to this. Um, that's not bad. That's a little bit softer. Um, I like this ring one, so that's what I'm going to go with. Okay, uh, next thing down, we're going to go to satin. And... Uh, Again, we have multiplier, but this time we want to do a bright blue color. Okay, to really sort of pop it out. There we go, maybe a little more gray. Okay, that's good. Again, blue. Uh, our distance we're going to increase. And our size we're also going to increase. So there's our distance. Mine's at 48. And let's bring my size. Just to take a look to see what the size does. If you bring it down to zero, you get these really straight, blocky uh, patterns showing up in the, in the letters. Uh, by increasing them, it gets softer and softer and more sort of uh, more ghostly. So there we go, 65, something like that is probably co pretty good. Last thing we need is uh, stroke. So turn on stroke. Now with stroke right now, it's, it's black and it goes all the way across. Um, turn on gradient. And what that does is it does black on the left and it goes to white on the right. Uh, and turn down the opacity on that. Uh, it's going to go down about to about 50% uh, or so. Again, you can play a lot of this by ear and, and see what you like. Um, and that's that's not bad, right? You can see that. Um, let's just try a different blending mode here. I'm just going to lighten it a little more. Uh, I think I'm going to try soft light on there. Okay, and that takes away some of that harsh black along the side. And click OK. So there's the glass. Um, but right now, the glass is the background as well, and so it's just sort of this text on top of the background. What we want to do is sort of clip these all together. Um, what you're going to do is duplicate your background. So go to your Layers panel and drag your background into your new layer icon. So you have two backgrounds. And um, then we're going to go up to Glass, hold down Control, and click on the little T beside Glass, and that makes a selection for us. And um, from here, we're going to uh, put a mask on layer two and on the background copy to sort of keep it all in nice and tight. So I'm going to, uh, with that made, uh, with a selection made of glass, I'm going to go to layer two and add a layer mask. Okay, and now you can see uh, the only place where those splotches show up is in the glass text. 
And then I'm going to go to background copy. Oops, sorry, I got to make another selection. So go to glass and make another selection of the uh, of the glass text. Go to background copy and make a little layer mask of that too. And then we can turn off background. And there it is. Okay. So there's some sort of quick text. Oh, you know what? One more thing before I go. Uh, go to your layer two and turn down the opacity. It's just a little too much. There we go. 38, 40 percent. That makes it a little bit streakier. All right, not bad. Okay, hope you liked it. Uh, check out the other ones. See you later.